Okay, let's try this again. This is uh, my second or third time trying this. So let's try this again. Uh, starting with another study. And, uh... <laughs> for the third time trying this. Starting another study. In Mark 5.9. Left off 5.8 last week. Uh, 5.9 says, And he asked him, the demon asked Jesus, what? I'm sorry. The, I'm confused there. Yeah. And he asked him. Jesus asked the name. Okay. What is your name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Notice, first of all, the demon obeyed instantly. The demon answered Jesus instantly. He didn't accuse Christ of being unfair. He didn't cry, accuse Christ of teaching from teaching and ruling from a man's perspective. He didn't say he didn't he, he didn't say he didn't believe in some of the things Christ taught. He didn't say that Christ was being unloving, uncaring. He instantly obeyed. Okay, instantly. And the word legion is said by some to mean thousands. Some argue 2,000, some argue 7,000. They argue 2,000 based on the number of swine or pigs, whatever you want to call them. Some say, I'm sorry, 6,000 based on the size of uh, the Roman military legions. They, you know, this both, both are said to be right. I don't know, okay? The only thing that I'm going to say that there was a lot of them, okay, a lot of the, a lot of demons, and notice Jesus commanded all of them without question. There was no disobedience. They obeyed without question. Five ten, and he besought him that he would not send them out of the country. The demons are begging Jesus not to send them out of the country. The fact that the, the demons were begging Jesus not to cast them out of the country is, is really interesting. It would seem they wanted to stay in the country because it was spiritually depraved. And fr from this, it would seem that some areas are more spiritually depraved than others. Okay, a simple observation, you know, confirms this. Look, I mean, look around us. Go, go out in your society and look around. America is near, nearly t at the top of the list when it comes to spiritual depravity. Okay? There's all forms of spiritual depravity. There's, uh, there's the sexual, there's sexual sin. I'm not speaking of any particular sexual sin, I am speaking of all sexual sin, according to the Bible. Okay? According to the Bible, not none specific. We have murderers all around us. Even our the youngest among us are being murdered. Okay? The most defenseless among us is, don't take a rock of science, just figure out what I'm talking about. You know, be honest. Okay, let me let me move on. Okay, we have no decency, none whatsoever in our society. We don't care how we dress. We have young men, we have men walking around with pants barely covering their bottoms. You know, we have women walking around with their chest hanging out. Calling themselves Christians. Wearing dresses and shorts that barely cover their bottoms. Calling themselves Christians. Some cases getting... I'm getting a little upset here. Some cases getting up in front of the church and singing in choirs and everything else. All on Saturday night, their bottom and chest was hanging out in their outfits. 
Yes. You know who I'm talking about. Some of you are doing it. You know, I, I'm not. I'm not stupid. I I know some of you are watching watching this video. Doing all that, walking around, calling yourself a Christian. Isn't that right? We have no decency. No, none whatsoever. We have no respect for each other. But especially our brothers and sisters in Christ. We have, we call ourselves Christians, but yet we have no respect for our brothers and sisters in Christ. We do, we will humiliate them publicly with lawsuits lawsuits I'm sorry lawsuits are common among Christians okay what 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 does what does the world see when they look look at us and see that can they really say that they look at us and say we love each other I'm sorry I'm sorry I apologize you only love the people in your denomination, in your church, right? That's the only brother and sisters you love, right? Of course, unless they grew up in your family. Isn't that right? You have no respect, no love for any other Christians. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to stay calm here. Some of you know who I'm talking about. Some of you know I'm talking about you. You have no respect. We are no different than most atheistic countries. Really, we're not. We just have a Christian label, quote, quote. That's all. We're just like them. But anyhow, notice one more thing. They knew Christ had the authority. To remove them from the land. Therefore they understood. Christ had authority over them. Do we truly understand. Christ has authority over us. To decide and direct our lives. Because we don't. We, could, we don't act like it. There's a lot of talking going on. But none of us act like it. Okay, we, we talk about we talk about how we love Christ, but yet we don't obey his word. Okay. We don't obey his word and we go out on Saturday nights 